making connections to the world. Empowering language on humanity. Let's swing the world of learning in one channel. Hello Philippines! Good morning, nasa po! And welcome to this the best MNHS English TV Grade 9 Edition. First of all, congratulations dear Grade 9 learners for we are on the last week, week 7 and 8 of our fourth quarter. Hello dear learners, first and foremost, we, your English Grade 9 teachers, are so grateful for you have successfully done good, best, and congratulations for now. This is your teacher Azel for a grade 9 together with your other English teacher. And for this lesson, we have reacting to lay value judgment on critical issues that demand sound analysis and call for prompt actions. And this, for our lesson, we have most essential learning competencies. It says, react to lay value judgment on critical issues that demand sound analysis and call for prompt actions with an enabling competency that says make a stand on critical issues brought up in the material view. This time, you will find out how to take a stand on critical issues brought up in the material you viewed. Making errors is something that everybody does and therefore is unavoidable. Errors of various kinds often harm us our families, and our communities, causing us to feel guilty. Corrective action should be taken to reclaim our integrity in our current setting. So, as what they say, everybody does in making mistakes. So if you are creating mistakes, make sure that that will be your stepping stone to create and make a success. Dear learners, this lesson will teach you to be assertive by taking a stance on an important subject that affects your choices as a student and as a person. Second, to accept innovations. And third, to make choices and take stand on issues that affect your future success. You can be required to make decisions or take positions on topics that have significance in your everyday life in certain situations. Let's get started on being prepared for these situations initially by carefully considering how you can take a stand and applying them in the learning task you will be asked to accomplish this week. Hello, grade 9 learners. This is Mom Lady, and I will give you tips on how you can take a stand which is suggested by a non-governmental organization in Europe on their Take a Stand Awareness Campaign for Civic Engagement which was launched in 2017. Here is number one. Speak up. Engage yourself. Make an effort to express yourself honestly and freely. The second one. Tolerate and respect. Keep an open mind. Other cultures and their beliefs must be acknowledged and respected. Support constructive integration and start a conversation where it's needed. Number three, be open-minded. Explore the world. Find out other cultures. Listen to foreign music. Watch foreign films. Read books. Experience world cuisine. And strive to understand other people's beliefs and perspectives. Number four, show solidarity. Show unity with minorities and assist those who need assistance. Volunteer and participate in charitable programs. We are stronger when we work together. Number five, be active. Don't keep your mouth shut. Raise your voice and use it for good. Hi! In this lesson, you should always remember the different ideas. Number one, it may be difficult for us to express our thoughts on a subject because our ideas can run contrary to a popular opinion or culture. However, we are compelled to do so because it is necessary and we conclude that our decision is in the best interest of the majority. We must take a stand, regardless of how controversial it may be, because 
doing so result in incomparable transformation. Okay, let's practice! Okay, for our learning task number one, as you can see, we have two different set of pictures. The set A is all about no to materialism, and the set B is no to pork barrel. All you have to do is that you need to study the ads and decide whether you are in favor or against the particular issues being raised. Then, answer the questions that follow. Write your answers in the bad paper. Question number one. What is your stand? Second, what helped you decide? The next one. What did you use as the basis in decision making? The fourth one, if you would be given the opportunity to talk to someone regarding the issue of materialism and pork barrel, whom would you talk to and why? And lastly, what would you tell him or her? Learning task 2. Letter A. Watch a video clip which can be accessed in the link below. Take note of the important points being raised. Then, copy and fill out the table that follows with details extracted from the material. Do this on a separate sheet of paper. If you don't have internet access at home, you may refer to the transcribed version or Bible. In the next 10 minutes, we will take a look at the American values listed by sociologist Robin Williams and added to by James Hensley. These values have strong presence in top U.S. grossing films. To prove this, I will be citing examples from the Spider-Man and Harry Potter series. Both of these series were previously successful in a print media and then adapted for the movies. First off, let's look at what Robin Williams lists for American values. Number 1. Achievement and Success High value is placed on personal achievement especially outdoing others. Number two, individualism. Success comes from personal efforts and initiatives. Number three, activity and work. Americans are expected to work hard and stay busily engaged in some activity. Number four, efficiency and practicality. High marks are given for high productivity with minimal efforts. Number five, Science and Technology The passion for applied science and control of nature Number 6 Progress More and better gadgets as a result of technological change Number 7 Material comfort This includes good condition, medical care, and also luxury items Number 8 Humanitarianism Acts such as helpfulness, kindness, and aid in disasters. Number nine, freedom. Personal freedom and upset. Number ten, democracy. Majority rules and everyone has the right to express their opinion and be represented in government. Number eleven, equality. Equal opportunity for everyone regardless of, for example, race and gender. Number twelve, Racism and group superiority. Although it contradicts other values, Americans do value some groups higher than others. James Henslin added to these values with number one, education. The expectation is to go as far in school as possible. Number two, religiosity. Everyone ought to acknowledge the existence of a supreme being and follow some set of magic behavior. Number three, romantic love. The only proper basis for marriage is romantic love. For both films, I will only focus on a few values that are most present. The first series we'll explore is Spider-Man. The first Spider-Man movie came out in 2002 and is ranked 7th of all time U.S. box office crossing films. The second movie is ranked 10th and the third movie is currently ranked 92nd although this movie can move up as it is still in theaters.
Spider-Man is one helpful tool. No argument there. He does everything from Thor crimes to rescue people from burning buildings. Now, that's helpfulness. Even though saving the city from various deranged supervillains is a time-consuming activity, Peter Parker, in line with Williams, site of U.S. values is still seeking employment. He is not the only one either. His uncle Ben, having been let go from a previous job, is attempting to find another one. In this scene, Mary Jane Watson and Peter Parker discuss work as Mary Jane is on her way to an audition and she had previously got off the work. Science and technology is everywhere in Spider-Man, so without further ado, here are a few examples. Letter A. Oscorp in their weapons and human performing enhancers, which Norman ends up using to cause all sorts of trouble. Letter B. The genetic engineering lab where Peter Parker is beat by a radioactive spider, changing his DNA giving him the abilities he uses as Spider-Man. Let us see. Dr. Octavius in his fusion reactor and of course the infamous mechanical arms. Letter D. The particle physics facility that brings about Sandman and Harry Osborn's resurrection of all his father's gadgets and gizmos that he uses to knock the snot out of Peter Parker. The second and final story we will be looking at is Harry Potter. Education is clearly seen in these films as the main setting is the school of witchcraft and wizardry, Hogwarts. When looking at efficiency, there is nothing more efficient than magic. You say it and it happens. It's that simple. The value of achievement and success has a large presence in the Harry Potter story. For example, the competition between the four houses within the school, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw is entirely about outdoing others. Harry Potter consistently outdoes others. He has praised for his achievements such as his skill in the wizard game of Quidditch. The scene, we see Harry being applauded for his completion of the latest Tri-Wizard Tournament stage. Harry Potter, even with his success, does face the small problem of attempts on his life. As a baby, Harry Potter brings down the leader of a wizard superiority group when the leader's spell meant to kill Harry vampires. Harry runs into the same group's superiority value almost immediately when he enters Hogwarts. In this scene from the fourth movie, we see the wizard superiority group named the Death Eaters assemble. Their leader is now back in power after previously being crippled during the encounter with Harry as a baby. This plot will continue in the next movie which has yet to be released. As you have seen, Robin Williams' American values with Jane Hensley's traditions are quite present in top U.S. crossing films. Some of these values may lose their importance as our society changes. Williams already believes activity at work is becoming less important. Other values may even come into being. But what makes these social values and films popular for such a broad audience? Can we conclude that these values are what makes the films popular or is it the films themselves that make these social values? According to where Edwards production. Now you are going to fill out this table with the trait or values mentioned in the material, the description, and also your comments. Letter B. After stating the details and your comments regarding the above mentioned traits, make a stand as to the right disposition in order to attain a better change. Write your decision below on your paper. Letter C. Based on the material viewed and listened to, pick up valid and acceptable rights which can be adapted or enhanced for the preservation of the values mentioned. My values assessed action, acceptable rights and traits, and valid reasoning. Here we have learning task 3. 
For the directions, read the news articles below. In a pad paper, take note of the important details to be able to fill out the table that follows. We have Article A and Article B. Let's start with Article A. Three nurses test positive for COVID-19 after getting vaccine. Three nurses who received a Sinovac vaccine are now in quarantine after testing positive for COVID-19. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Rontin Salante explains an infection is still possible if the person had the virus a day or two before getting vaccinated or when exposed to the virus before the antibodies kick in. Filipino Nurses United President Maristela Abinhar says the nurses got the sign of a vaccine on March 1st and even administered vaccines or assisted in the immunization program. They were swabbed after a week and tested positive on March 9th. They are asymptomatic. Dr. Salante explains that a person will only get some protection from the virus on the second week after vaccination. That's when a body would have started producing enough antibodies to help fight the infection. Almost 216,000 frontline health workers got the first dose of Sinovac and AstraZeneca vaccines. The Filipino Nurses United is calling for paid leave if they experience any side effect which could hinder them from working. Meanwhile, the Filipino Infectious Diseases Society for Obstetrics and Gynecology says pregnant women who are at high risk of exposure to COVID-19 infection as well as lactating mothers may receive a COVID-19 vaccine despite limited studies on its safety and efficacy. But this is still upon doctors' assessment and should only be offered to pregnant and breastfeeding women at high-risk groups such as frontline health workers and uniform personnel. They recommend it during the second or third trimester of pregnancy. Doctors say those who have given birth may also be vaccinated against COVID-19, but they must wait two weeks after receiving a different type of vaccine like anti-tetanus or flu shots. Caroline Bonkin, CNN Philippines, March 17, 2021. Let us have Article B. Duterte to China. PH won't withdraw ships from West Philippine Sea by Chrissy Aguilar, reporter. Manila, Philippines. President Rodrigo Duterte has declared that the Philippines will not withdraw its assets from the disputed parts of the West Philippine Sea while also insisting he does not intend to quarrel with China due to the country's depth of gratitude to them. We have a stand here and I want to state it here and now again. Na yung mga barko natin nandiyan ngayon sa pag-asa at saan pa? We will not move an inch backward, Duterte said in the second part of his state speech aired Friday. We have a stand here and I want to state it here and now again that our ships are there in Pagasa Island and somewhere else. We will not move an inch backward. Ayoko makipag-away nga sa China. Inuulit ko, may utang ng loob kami. Malaki. Malaki ang butang ng loob. Buhay ang tinulong niya sa amin. Pero yung ano naman ng bayan namin, sana maintindihan ninyo. He added, I don't want to quarrel with China. I repeat, we have a depth of gratitude. A big one. They help us with our lives. But I hope you understand the interest of our nation. Duterte noted this, What's supposed to be done by any president of any self-respecting republic? In the same televised speech, Defense Secretary Delphine Lorenzana told Duterte the country's assets are deployed at the Kalayaan Island Group. I'd like to put notice on China. May dalawang barko ako dyan. Sabihin ko sa China ngayon, as I said before, I am not ready to withdraw. I don't want a quarrel. I don't want trouble. 
I respect your position and you respect mine. Duterte said, I have two ships there. Let me tell China now. As I said before, I am not ready to withdraw. I don't want a quarrel. I don't want trouble. I respect your position and you respect mine. The president said it is not wrong to admit that the Philippines is inferior in terms of might and power. Ngayon, hindi talaga ako aatras. Patayin mo man ako, dito ako. Dito magtatapos ang ating pagkakaibigan. He went on. Now, I really won't withdraw. Even if you kill me, I will be here. This is where the friendship ends. So here is the table that you're about to fill in. There are four columns. First column, you're going to write the issue. Second column, the speaker's stand. The third column, the problem. And for the fourth column, you're going to write the proposed solution. For your learning task number four, dear learners, here it goes. Write just if the following situation is reasonable and unjust if it is not. Write your answers on the blanks. Number one. relationships are prohibited. Number four, back then, African Americans and other people of color were being mistreated and forced into servitude on farms and in households. Number five, someone often thinks twice before posting something on social media to ensure that he or she is not hurting anyone's feelings. Number six, there are still several parts of the world where girls are not allowed to enter a school. Number seven, you refuse a friend who is pushing you to join an immoral activity. Number eight, when it comes to occupational wages, there is a significant difference between men and women. Number nine, help someone who is being bullied by a classmate. And number ten, you distance yourself from your loved one. Well done.